Hey everyone, Jamie Pay here. Welcome to this channel. It's Christmas in July. It just keeps getting better in my opinion. Today I have for you a mini die. It's two pieces. It's going to spell out ho, ho, ho. And let me share with you an idea that I have. Let's get started. Okay, friends, here is my latest tag. And um, I think this this die, which was available as a freebie when it was introduced at scrapbook.com, just might be one of my favorites. What we're going to do here is talk about the elements that make up this tag. And then I kind of hope, you know, I hope, I, I, I'm guessing maybe possibly we can do this in real time. Uh, put this tag together and build it together. So let's get started with that. First thing I want to talk about really quick here is because I kind of run over this part and that is um, this particular make is oh, maybe you can see already is very die cut eccentric. Almost everything on here, everything on here is a die. And so because of that reality, I did want to talk about for a minute this Spellbinders P6 die cutting machine. This is the one I am just about exclusively using presently. It's it's a nice smallish desktop size. I mean, you can see here I've pulled out a little bit on my lens so you can see that it's not terribly big. It comes with platform base with all these different recipes for how to build your different sandwiches. And then um, platform B is something that I use pretty much all the time for my more thin dies. And then of course, um, the magic mat is one of my favorite surfaces to actually cut on. It's just so forgiving. It goes through the machine really well. And then I have here a sis, don't tell anybody, but I have a Sizzix um, cutting pad because you need the one for the top. So this is just it's just the one I happen to grab. Okay, so that's a little plug for what die machine I am presently using. I'm gonna set this guy right here while we talk about the different pieces. And what you can do, I was thinking through as I wanted to share this tag with you. Basically, I, my, my hope is, and if you don't do this, I mean, it's, it's, it's your watch. You can do whatever you want with this video, but I wanted to show you how the each of the components was made. And then maybe if you want to pause the video, use what you have, or if you have some of these pieces and then make it with me. So to start this Christmas pattern paper pad has been a staple to almost all, not all, but almost all of this year's Christmas in July makes. I'm also a huge fan of these framed tags. They have this embossing element. So I grabbed one of my favorite patterns from the Christmas pattern paper. It's this plaid. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you should be able to see some of that embossed work. This is the largest tag. And so I cut it as my base. Okay, then what's next? Next is this layered piece that you see here. On this particular piece, it's a uh, pattern from Holiday Wishes 49 and Market. And I did the same thing here. So here's some measurements for you. This little, the idea behind this little layered piece here was that I wanted it to basically kind of sit inside of the emboss work on the tag. So that was just my idea for that. So in order to trim this, pattern paper or whatever paper you're using, go with whatever, you know, don't, you, I'm, please don't hear me trying to sell these particular uh, patterns to you. I'm just sharing what I used. And basically the idea is I've, I've been pulling from my stash from last year. I'm actually not done with my December album from last year. So these are probably going to find a home right back in that book when I would love to have that wrapped up before 23 begins. So use what you have, use whatever your favorite patterns are and just go for it. But I'm just sharing what you, with you what I have utilized here. So this is Holiday Wishes. I have trimmed this piece of paper two and five eighths by five and three eighths tall. So that's the measurement for this little um, layered piece. So then what we're doing is the whole reason we're here for this little 
Ho 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 die set. And there's two pieces to it. This outline piece is already sitting in here using some mint tape to hold it in place. And I also shared where I place it. So I measured about two and five eighths down so I knew where I had it on this tag here. And kind of the fun thing about this tag was that I was hoping to share with you the different ways you can use this one tag. It's basically three in one. So you can use just the letters themselves on a paper surface. You can use just the outline part and have like that dimension or make a shaker or have it all shaker like that. That'd be really fun if all three of these were the outline and then you had the acetate and the shaker underneath. That's an idea. And this uses both of them, like the background outline piece and then the individual letters. And can you see the emboss there on the uh, surface of those stars? Super fun, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just a really darling set. So those are the three ways you can use this and we're gonna use all three on the one. But to start, we need to have this cut out so that's what we're going to do first, which is why also I had my die cutting machine here on the table already. So I'm just going to pop this in here and go ahead and cut that while I have it out. So shake, shake, shake the table. Forgive that. One of these days I'm going to have my camera not attached to my work table. But today it's not. This is how it is. So it's going to peel that off and that's done. Okay, I'm just gonna set that aside for now while we work on the other pieces. Okay, so the next part of this tag is our three, or I'm sorry, yeah, three. We have three cutouts. We have two of the letter sets and then we have the outline set. So I did a background from this paper for this first ho ho ho. And then for this, I used another piece of the Christmas pattern paper for the background as well as for the pieces that are going to lay on top. So these are going to need to be glued on. So just keep that in mind that those will need to be popped on there when we um, take advantage of this in laying them on our, sh on our project later on. Okay, so that is that little cute two-piece die. The next element I have on here are these holly sprigs. And I have also already pre-cut these as well. This is Spellbinders cutting dies. And I use these quite a bit in my makes last year. And um, they also come with a die that you can cut the berries out. We're not gonna use the berries today. What I have on here instead, I don't even know if you can actually see it, but I have the dimension of this frozen flurry pops of color super glittery super subtle but it adds a really nice texture and effect so that's going to be our sprigs that is going to be on this tag okay and finally what i've done this is my little secret weapon this is a slimline stars die and i've primarily been using it for creating star embellishments and i utilize the holographic paper there's this one pattern and i mean you could use the stars that's super fun you could use any of this just showing you i don't know how well you can see it you can see my camera you can see the outside but it's just like this glitter and it's super flat it almost feels like a vinyl even anyway that's how i crafted those star embellishments and when you do it like this and you save them you're going to have tons of them for all of your projects. Now, the one last little thing that you can hardly see, I have a little notched piece on here, which I'm probably just going to grab from a piece of um, scrap paper. And then um, this is probably from just a little edge of the paper from the Holiday Wishes. And I just love stripes. I think they make some interesting um, contrast. And so I just, I found it. I literally found this. So this is what this looks like. This is my stash from Holiday Wishes that is still left. And yeah, I'm like saving every little piece I possibly can because I, I love it. And a lot of these papers aren't available. They're still, the six by eight are all available. There's a couple of the uh, individual sheets, but yeah. It's become a hoarding issue. Okay, let's get started on making this tag. Okay, one of my suggestions really quick, I'm not gonna do this, but what you could do, depending on how you're gonna use this tag, is you could cut out another cardstock tag and just give it a little bit more reinforcement. So what we'll do is we're just gonna build this from the bottom up and I'm looking to see, I have used some squares, grabbing my assorted square double-sided foam 
fan of these. I have to grab, I have, I have these in stock. I've, I, I bought a bunch of these because I am using them so much. Actually before, before I lay this on my tag base, I want to just come along here and give it a little bit of edge, just to pull it up a little bit. It's just, it's another way to create dimension on your page is when you um, come along and just kind of drag a flat surface and just give it a little bit more texture. You, you could make that super grungy or you could keep it just kind of simple. I kept it kind of simple there. And then you just want to make sure you have plenty of your foam adhesive in place so that we have no sagging taking place on our ho 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 tag because you know we just can't have the sagging on the paper it's it's just it can't be we just can't do that and i know already just because i've already made this tag that i will not be tucking anything underneath so you know you can kind of go crazy with how much of the um of those square foam pieces that you want to have in place and even as i'm looking at this I should have just popped one inside of there too. And what you can do also is you don't have to have both of the backer papers taken off. You can just set that in there and it still gives you the height that you need, even though you only have adhesive on the one side. Actually, I think that's kind of okay. I think I'll do this here. All right. So that's in place. So this is gonna be pretty easy here. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna cheat here. I use my little baby tiny squares for this next one. So I'm going, these are kind of small, so I'm just gonna use a little tool here to get these in place. Um, just to kind of help them not stick to my fingers. And let's get my other, my O and a piece there and a piece there, and this just needs to now find its home right above our middle word here. And I really, really liked how you have the texture of the stars, you have kind of the same color of the background, but you totally obviously can see it. It's not like it blends in or anything. So that is something that was just a lot of fun for me. And notice too that when I did, oops, did I not? Oh, I didn't take that off. That would help. When I um, put this first die opening here, I'm closer to this edge than I am to this edge because I have the holly berries that I want to put into place. Okay, so those guys are glued on and I've also already, just the same thing as we did up here. Oops, almost, but it would really look cool in there actually. That's just another idea for you. Sometimes our little mistakes or accidents show us a different way to do a thing. I love when that happens. Hope you do too. Okay, so that's in place and so that same thing as that. So just kind of put all those pieces together as you get them ready to do so. Okay, this guy here, he needs to be trimmed and I'm gonna tuck him right there. What I, I think down here on this one, I think I actually had them kind of out here like this. And that was kind of the reason for my little notched tag there was because it was going to show. So that's something that worked out pretty good, actually. Just trying to get my glue ready here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one in place. If I need to go back and add a little bit more glue once everything is in place, obviously that is something that we can do. And then this guy is going to actually come underneath here. What's kind of hard sometimes is when you have something made and then going back and making it again, unless you're making it at the same time, it doesn't always look the same. So bulk is super cool, but especially if you're doing it all at the same time. So if this looks a little different, that's my excuse right there. I'm just making excuses. That's all I'm doing. And I actually think I want a little square dot back here behind this leaf to kind of anchor it a little better. Yeah, that'll be okay. You could add those wherever you want to, wherever's gonna work for you. 
and I'm just looking here for a little piece of paper to notch. This is this is a reason for keeping so many of my scraps because I do this little guy here pretty often and you need scraps for it. So he's going to fit in here like that. And then all that's left to do is popping up the um, stars. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a star to pop right here. And it has a small square foam behind it. And then it's just kind of... I have this tucked underneath. This time we're going to tuck it over. I just like that. And I like the stars playing against the embossing stuff going on there on the... Um, on the ho 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 that's kind of fun in this instance i'm going to actually put the glue there first grab my star and then pop it on and then we need two more tiny ones up here so just a dot and a dot just because i know where they're going to go that's why that's working out like that for me and one more okay last thing we need to do to make this like our first one is the flurry freeze frozen flurry i keep forgetting what it's called yeah that happens and on these already embossed berries is where i'm just adding a dot of this color and also in here is a little place as well so just have fun with that okay and that's how, except for our little bow to finish it all off, that is how we crafted our Ho 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 tag. Thank you so much for watching. The supply list is in the description. Love a thumbs up if you found some value in this. And I will see you in the next video.